Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our scripture breakdown ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Colossians 3, verse 17. And it reads, And whatever you do in word and deeds, do all in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. I repeat, and whatever you do in word and deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Now, I want to divide the scripture into three parts. And the first part is, and whatever you do in word and deed. Now, this was Apostle Paul still speaking to the Colossians and um, exalting them and educating them on how to lead their Christian life and walk the journey with Christ. She said, and whatever you do in word, that is, whatever you say, whatever comes out of your mouth in word or deeds, that's um, your actions, their certain actions, um, their action in the course of their living, in the course of their eating, in the course of their um, going to work, in the course of their um, leading their everyday life, their everyday activities. Say, so do all in the name of the Lord. That means follow after the laws of God. Follow after, live after um, the God-like nature, a Christ-like nature. Do everything in line with the precepts and the status of God. So do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. So while you're walking at the place of work, do all in the name of Jesus. While you, you're interacting with your neighbors, do all in the name of Jesus. Then the last bit says, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Again, in the book of um, Thessalonians, he says, 5 verse 18, he says, In all things give thanks, but this is the will of God for your life. This is the will of God for a Christian's life to give thanks. So here, Apostle Paul was speaking to the Colossians originally and now to Christians as a whole. So give thanks to God the Father through Christ. So here he says that everything we do, there must be thanksgiving. There must be an, uh, uh, an acknowledgement of gratitude. There's and must be a penitent heart. There must be penitence. There must be an um, uh, attitude of thankfulness, an attitude of humility, of meekness at every point in time. And whilst in whatever we do and whatever we say as we journey and walk with God. Now I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word, that we will be able to walk with him, around with him, that ultimately, as we speak every day, and as we go about our daily activities in words and actions, that we'll do everything in the name of God, and we continue to live for Christ. All this I ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I thank you so much for listening. And God bless, God bless, in Jesus' name, amen.